I noticed um, in the chat, Wilson, you wanted to share next? I'll try. Thank you. No problem. So I believe my paper explained itself. I didn't want my accent to bother your ears. Well, I'll try. Hopefully, you can agree with me, guys. You're phenomenal, Wilson. Hey, now you will give me courage. Thank you. And yeah, I, from, I start from where? From here. Um, oh my God. I have a subtitles, subtitles here. I don't know how they come, where they come from. Can you all see my screen? Yes, we can see the screen. Okay. Uh, this is my philosophy. I know it can be sound weird, but that was the uh, word I had. One word is equal to one action. Um, to situate my philosophy, I went uh, in the Bible, having some references. A Mormon church president named Gordon B. Inclay, Gordon B. Inclay, in March 2003, state, we have the potential to do whatever we want to do and become whatever we want to become. We have a body, a spirit, and an intellectual. For the prophet, we need educational training, um, that kind of pain our ears to success. And Genesis 126, God says, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the, of the, of the air and over the, the cattle and over all the, the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Because we have created by the image of God, we have the power to do anything we dream about in life. One word is equal to an action concept that I bring to, I bring, I bring to you. It's also reflected in Genesis first, uh, verse three, when God said, let there be light. And there was light, was one word and one action. And what do I truly believe from one of the questions that you give as direction? I believe that doing things is a process and we should start somewhere without procrastinating. Relationship is not a question of title, position or function. It is a state of mind, a way of life, a way of working that results in action. Even if I do not have any title, I can still be a model by carrying my leadership philosophy and exposing it, exposing it through my organization. No matter what job I have, no matter my level of responsibility, I always have the opportunity to do great things and express my potential and leadership. My award in action, leadership philosophy, explains itself in acting from objective to, to vision. I mean, accomplishing every single step that drove me to my main goal. Every word, every work is an opportunity to bring value and to humanity. Which value do I refuse to compromise? I bring five. We have three here, achievement, creativity, and community. I was a district self-reliance specialist at my church back 20, 2014. And one of the main focus of being independent I used to teach is achievement. For example, let's say we have an, an autonomy cycle, divided, divided, uh, divided in four steps, school, work, or business, family and serving our community. Then the one word is equal to one action reflect in sacri uh, sacri sacrificing some time for school, as we all know the process of graduating. graduating. The next one should be finding a uh, suitable job or starting a business and so on. The second, um, the second value I, had, I have is creativity. It means to me that we should start from imperfect to become perfect. It requires courage, patience, and determination. Third, community is a spirit to me, the fact of working together like in solidarity and for the benefit of everyone. Community is the value, is my value because I want to see people work together for what they wish to do well. My one word, one action leadership philosophy relates to making things better together. Oh, this is me uh, back 20, 2013, like uh, doing a seminar in the guy in Haiti. 
uh, which value do I refuse to compromise? Again, this is the last two values I have. It's uh, humor is welcome on scene, an appearance that makes us seen open to communicate and collaborate. Like in Bonnie St. John, as you all probably read it, uh, when she talked about leadership, um, uh, inclusive leaders flex their style and get the most of out of every person on their team. And the last one is friendship, is the essence that makes a good connection among team workers realist realistically. It is human nature to live together via collective decision and participatory activities. Uh, what caused me to have these core values? My assumption of cultivating these core values came after being involved in many social, artistic, and educational activities. I have also learned integrity, humanity, and ethic from leaders I work with. I feel like being a public servant is a calling, and I should take it as a blessing when a community accepts me to serve. My leadership philosophy values will be born of a dynamic that income my ability to integrate different educational resources. This is another debate that I explained in my final paper that has eight pages. My theory of embracing a concept to concrete in action does not start from finality, but it starts from, a, from a, a fact or a lifestyle. It takes, an, it takes its place in my life by fulfilling a task through my imagination that will result in an act. The secret is the secret I have experienced with it is that my philosophical values meet me in the middle. I consciously know that I have I, I am doing something until I start doing it and having a value when it is being discovered and me by others. You might probably have questions for me if you want, if you have any time. Uh, how comfortable I am with myself. I am part of bequeathing my name as a brand to posterity and my leadership theory influences my life and being humble when working with people. My way of influencing others to do what I think what, what is right makes me make people call me a catalyzer. And I am honored for having the, the skill of pushing my, of, uh, to push my network to be motivated on a parent path. People I talk to about my values say that I am intellectual, have a sense of leadership, and I, and I am a people, a, a people person. As a public servant, my leadership philosophy become a part of my intrinsic capacities, and I feel free of working, of not working when I'm doing what I love. My one word is equal to one action philo uh, philosophical approach synchronizes my chemistry to what I love to accomplish, and my goal is my is in harmony with my nature. What is the, sin, the single most important thing to me? Credibility is built on trust, and we always tell the truth about ourselves. The rest of the world, if we, uh, sorry, if we always tell the truth about ourselves, the rest of the world will fall into our hands. Our leadership philosophy is an everyday work on what we have been doing that bring us to the final stage. The most important expectation from leadership philosophy is the glory of being humble. Jesus testified it during centuries in John uh, uh, 5, 30, that he came to, to earth to do his father's will. And later he got the etern uh, eternal exaltation. I seek not my own will, said Jesus, but the will of my father, which had, which, uh, which have sent me. He states, following Christ, following Christ's leadership model, we can expect that sacrificing our time for the good of others can lead to a better world and eternalize our brain. Leadership aims to, ma to make society work small, uh, smoothly, promote and enforce the norm. As public servant, our leadership philosophy help emerging new generation to ensure the future. I don't know if I can continue. Can I continue? Yes, you can continue, Wilson. I think it's about one more minute. 
Okay. Uh, practical experience. Uh, when I came to Boston in October 2016, I was afraid, ashamed, and stormed observing Haitian children's behavior. They act strangely by working on the Madaven Street, it's in Boston, begging people for money, smoking, and using obscenities in their conversations. Over the news, their neighborhood are discriminated against for delinquency, and they seem to be marginalized. I realized some of these peers might be professionally talented and artistically gifted. The lack of guidance to play a better role in society, make a living, and serve their community with pride. I implement a youth uh, literary, social educational, and cultural nonprofit organization in Boston, Massachusetts, on October 22, 22nd, 2029, to gather them. When I want to see these youth find suitable jobs and the right, to, the right tools to develop their talent and see the future of the next generations. My mission is to empower them to build their leadership and civic engagement through arts and entrepreneurship. I use that uh, strategy because inclusivity uh, can influence social cohesion and conflict management in Boston community. I also realized that Haitian kids have low self-esteem. They ignore Haitian Creole, which is their, their vernacular language. And some seem to be scared by what they heard about Haiti in the news. Oops, <laughs> that was the music I put in the slide. Uh, political experience. I went for, for office in Haiti in August 2015, but that was the last one. I, I will just, because the time is, uh, is over. And thank you guys for waiting with me. No, absolutely. Thank you, Wilson. You know, it's interesting because from your presentation and, and several of your classmates, um, I wrote a note to myself, this interesting nexus that exists between spirituality, service, and sacrifice. I feel an academic paper coming on. <laughs> but, uh, but no, thank you for sharing that, Wilson.